Hello my art loving friends. So I am going to record this intro before the actual intro because I wanted to let you know I was traveling over the last five days. I just got back last night and I recorded a quick snippet that I could get a video out to you today. It just means you're going to see another video about traveling art supplies and a little bit of art while traveling. So hopefully you enjoy and hopefully it's better than no Tuesday video. All right, let's get into it. Hello my art loving friends. So I am traveling yet again and I thought I would show you what I'm bringing with me this time. <laughs> Do you guys remember this little palette we just did with the Imgram watercolors? Yeah, we're gonna see if they can travel. And they're sticky but firm-ish. <laughs> firm-ish, yeah, that, that's great. Anyway, here is the little swatch sheet. I did get it laminated, so I'm just going to lay it on top of that. Screw it on. I haven't painted my top of the palette with appliance white yet. I have not had time. I've been crazy, crazy busy. I wanted a small thing of tape, so we're going to bring this washi tape and hope that that's enough tape to get me through. I'm sure it is. I never have enough time to paint on these trips that I think I'll have. I just never do. Little collapsible water cups. I thought about bringing the ones that I use in the studio because they are a little bit wider bottomed, but these have been nice and sturdy. And I like that they go flat so they can slip in a bag. These are the Faber-Castell ones. You can get them in a few different colors. These rags I take to class with me all the time because I set them down like that. And I put my water cups on top of them. That way I have something I can dab. Two are bamboo paper towels. And one is just a regular kind of cotton rag. So lots of thickness to absorb water. Definitely taking the Hemi Mia palette. So I want to try out this little palette to see how it works on a trip like that and if you can travel much with it and I'm going to put it in the bag however it ends up so we'll see how that goes but still trying to use this up. Should take this with me right? Use a hair tie to keep the swatch sheet there and I put the swatch sheet there because this part of the palette on this is exposed and that is laminated so it keeps whatever else it touches somewhat protected. Taking my Etcher A5 watercolor sketchbook. I've got some paintings in it, not very many, but I thought because I know I like it, love it, really enjoy using it, it would be fun to compare it with the new Hanamule sketchbook. This is the 100% cotton one, and I have just done that one painting in it so far. Anyway, I thought it'd be really fun to do a painting in the Etcher one and then kind of come over and paint in this one, but I doubt that's going to happen on this trip, but it's a nice thought. I, I would like to. I'm also taking the World Watercolor Month prompt list. The official World Watercolor Month is July and I try to participate in that every year. I don't know why because I am never home in July. I travel like more than half of the month. But so far I've done it <laughs> for several years. It's crazy. I don't know what, what I'm thinking. And look at this. The first prompt is train. And I've had this train, a couple of reference photos for trains that I've been wanting to paint for a couple of years. And I'm like, oh, this would be a really good opportunity to paint that train. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm gone on the 1st of July, but I've taken all this stuff with me before and painted wherever I was. So we'll see. I don't know. And this is the pencil case that I take every time I go teach at the college. And this is what's in it every time I go. So I thought, I'll just grab this. I am going to grab a water brush from that set I showed you in my last traveling video. In fact, I might just leave those in that bag and just add these to that bag because I'm in a hurry. I'm in a big hurry. But anyway, I have this really nice brush that a viewer gave me. Love it. It's been fun to try and use that, but I keep forgetting to use it like in the studio because it's in here. But I mean, it's a travel brush, so I need to get my life together. <laughs> but my Winsor & Newton Cotman 12 and 10, and this is kind of warping the cardboard in this. So it is starting to bend kind of towards these brushes a little, so I have them stuffed really far down, but I am going to need to replace this if I'm going to keep taking my brushes with me every week, and I do because I teach every week. Two cheap flat brushes. This is a part of a five pack that I have all my students get. It comes with round brushes just like these, these two flats, and a smaller one, which I have right over there, but I don't have time to like dig them out of my whole bin and figure out which ones they are. But they're a great brush set. I'll link it down below. Travel see-through ruler. I keep it in this protective case because these do tend to scratch. I mean, even just putting it in and out of here is kind of scratching it and when I use it. So it gets less easy to see through if it gets really scratched. So I like to leave it in there. Spray bottle. 
This PBO drawing gum pin, I can't really get the pin to work anymore, but if I pull this out, I can dig into there and get some masking fluid at least. So I really just need to put some masking fluid in a small container instead. The masking fluid eraser that I was just gifted. I needed eraser, a regular eraser. I use them both equally. Salt. This is just regular salt, even though it's in a real salt container because I finally dug it out from under the bookcase when I moved my studio down here. Anyway, I just keep refilling it when I need to. A couple of binder clips in case I need to clip my sketchbooks open or hold pages down. Mechanical pencil, white Posca pen. I don't like the jelly rolls, but that's what's in here. I prefer the uniball ones. I don't know. I just haven't taken the time to switch it out. Micron PN masking fluid applicator brush. This is silicone. I think it's a clay sculpting tool, but it is called Color Shaper on this one. Use it to apply all my masking fluid Although I did receive that ruling pin for applying masking fluid that I need to try out a couple more times. Some scrubber brushes, and this has to be replaced. This is a Princeton art brush, number one. And I tried to use this yesterday in my watercolor class and it, it's gotta go. It's seen its days. <laughs> so right now I will grab a smaller brush, a different smaller brush. Let's see, what do I have over here? I don't know, without looking too hard, here are some options. Oh, that's not what I thought it was, and I think that's been used to apply masking fluid. It looks a little rough. So I'll probably use this one. What is it? This looks nice. Bestie, bushy round, creative mark. We'll see if it is that nice once I get the sizing off of it, but for now, I'll put it in there. I usually just use the tips of my big brushes for fine lines, so I don't often switch to that teeny tiny brush. It's pretty rare if I do. So we'll try that, see if I even use it. So this is what's coming with me this round, along with that water brush I told you about from upstairs. It's already in the bag that I'm probably gonna put all this in. So it should be a really fun trip. This is the trip that I usually do have time to paint on and it's so nice. I look forward to it every single year. We go once a year to this particular place and I'll show you some footage from there if I can. All right, I'm on my trip. There is the view, this is like one of the only places we ever come to where we camp in the campground. And this is still considered like primitive camping, first come first serve, no hookups, no anything, but it's, it's asphalt, <laughs> which is weird for us. We have to keep the dogs on leashes or cables. There's a beautiful lake over there. It's hard to see. We have a kind of rainy day today, but anyway, we come here once a year and have since before I was born. And I am really curious about that Imgram paint. I packed that up on Wednesday morning and it's Saturday and I have not had a chance to get in here and see what it is like because I just threw it in here. Here's the camera I usually use for filming but I'm using my phone right now. I threw that Imgram palette in here somewhere. Just threw it in. And so I need to find it. There it is. Look, it's so compact. It fits in my little fabric castell collapsible cup and there it is let's see if it survived being crooked crooked on its side whatever i don't know if i can film and do this at the same time oh my gosh look how little it looks <laughs> sorry my hands are really really dry i don't even know if i can open this with one hand nope let me open it i'll be right back all right it's open i'm glad i laminated this because it's sticky <laughs> And we're still in Colorado here at this lake, but oh, and that only had, I don't know, was that a week before I traveled? Two weeks at the most. Here's all the paint that stuck to the back. These weren't exactly like level before I put them in. Some of these were already a little bit contaminated from my last painting. And it doesn't look like any of them like dripped over or flowed over to the next ones. So that's good. It just... Whatever was sticking up stuck to the back of this, and that's it. It survived. It survived. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to paint on this trip. We have expanded our family. <laughs> My sons have girlfriends, and we have friends that have come now, and usually this is a trip where I can spend some time alone and paint. But with the extra people, it's kind of fun because we just visit with people, and... I'm not sure I'm going to get a chance to paint, but I'm impressed. I think here in Colorado I could get away with that as long as I stick this over the top of it before I seal it. This here is the spot that I thought about bringing a chair out to and sitting and painting from here. 
thought that would be really nice. I don't know if I'll get a chance to. It keeps raining on us off and on, so <laughs> we'll see. Plus, lots of people busy visiting. This is the other spot I thought about coming to with a chair and painting. It's not too much farther up from the first one. Just a slightly different view. Some bushes here they are kind of neat. Really want to try out that little mini M. Graham palette and see how it even works out and about. Those are very beautiful areas to sit and paint at, but unfortunately I didn't have time. But I did have time to do a little painting on the boat. However, I had a five-year-old helping me and we had a lot of fun actually. And this was the setup on the boat. I just put the palette on my lap basically and there's the sketchbook that I thought about using. I had a little puppy sitting beside me. It was awesome. My grandma was over there. That's the puppy mama right there that you're seeing. And I really wasn't sure what to paint at first, but the little girl with us really wanted me to do something. So instead I gave her my little sketchbook and had her do a few things and her things are really cute. I'll show them to you. But before I do that, I had her draw me a picture to paint because I was really just coming up with nothing. I don't know. There's just a lot of people and a lot of animals and I was feeling kind of under motivated, but her drawing me a little picture and having me paint it was so awesome. What do you think? Did we do a good job? We still have to put the black in the hair, but. Then we do a good Aww, job otherwise. <laughs> That's okay if there's no black. You can just be yellow. We can let, well, it's almost dry. We can put the little black streaks in it. You want to put, put black streaks in it? Mm, no, it'll no? just mix. You like just being blonde? Okay, cool. All right, all done. And then I had her sign her name because she did the drawing, and then I signed my name later for the painting. And here are all the creations from that trip. <laughs> So she did this one, it's so cute. They started out as balloons because when I saw this and she was like, well, what do I draw or paint? I'm like, draw balloons. And this is what she drew. They're so cute. I just love all these little doodles. They're really adorable. And there's a little signature. And these are mountains. <laughs> and I gave her my Himi Mia set to paint with. So I'll count this in that whole spreadsheet, keeping track of how long to use it up. And this is actually a cat. The face of the cat got a little bit blue. So this cat is underwater and it has one of those head things on it like in space so the cat can breathe underwater and this is the land, she said. And that's it for this little sketchbook. And in this one, this is the one we did together. <laughs> See, I saw my name, I dated it. And then she had me draw her a unicorn and she painted it and then we were gonna outline it with our black pen, but she couldn't see the lines well enough and I was gonna do that after the fact, but I haven't had time yet. I mean, I just got home. <laughs> it's, it's the morning after, I just got home. So I think it would be fun to outline it with the micron, but she did all of this painting. All I did was draw the unicorn in pencil. So it's so cool, isn't it? And there's our signatures. All right, so that was all the painting I did with that M. Graham stuff and that little case worked really well. The So I did, oh, I forgot about that page. This is a unicorn dog and it's butterfly friend. Okay, is that all? Yes, that's all. So I used the M. Graham set to paint this side. All of the rest of the things that she painted with was with the Hemimia. So I painted it with this side. It worked really well. It, I don't know, the paint spread so beautifully in water that I just watered the sky and drop some paint in and it just spread. It was so awesome. Anyway, really enjoyable to use. That little palette is not a big deal to get paint out of. The only big deal is where to put it because you can't really clip it very well. I guess you could kind of clip it, but you would lose a, a lot of the little bit of real estate you have to get your brush in the wells. So having my knee worked fine. It never fell off of my knee, even though we were in the boat. So I think that it's a winner. I think if you want something super tiny to take with you along with like a super tiny sketchbook, then you've got a winner set there. I will link that little palette again. The only place I've been able to find that exact one is on Kimberly Crick's website and she does sell them for only $1.99 each. Well, that's it. That's all for this trip. If you ever get a chance to go check out Blue Mesa, if you like laid back styles and some fishing, it's a great place to go. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye for now. Anyway, the, and the two cheap plot. Oh my goodness. Hey, Ringo. Hi. I'm so happy. You're keeping hope? Don't be. He's wow. getting it. That is not the mom of these pups, but she sure loves them. Yes, <laughs> they love her.
That's so cute. You can find some titties. <laughs> 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 oh, cute. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have fun if you travel, and if not, working in your house at home is also really fun. It's actually, it's actually a lot easier to work at home, isn't it? Okay, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.